And speaking of the tech sector, Tencent, the ginormous Chinese investment company, which is also Asia's biggest technology company with a market capitalization that had been closing in on $600 billion last year, has taken their first quarterly earnings stumble in 13 years. What's that all about? Here to discuss is the CEO of the stock swoosh, Melissa Armo, to weigh in on Tencent and other stocks. Melissa, welcome back. Thank you so much. Uh, Tencent became the first tech company to breach that $500 uh, million dollar capitalization uh, level last November, yet this year the company has lost 25% of their share value and more than 3% on the single day earlier this week on Tuesday. Uh, there's been some concern related to their growth in Tencent's mobile gaming. Uh, what's that all about? What's going on, Melissa? Well, the problem is that, that China has the regulators now are not approving any more of these gaming licenses, so that's cut into what Tencent does. But overall, just looking technically at the chart, the chart is now in a downtrend. It's not a buy at all. It, it really has been trying to hang on for quite a while. It could have turned around in these earnings, but now with this coming out about the gaming, that really has definitely hurt the company, and they are in a downtrend. I will say this, in, in, in China, China, gaming is huge. It is huge. It is the number one country in the world where there's about a $38 billion in revenue for gaming in there, which is incredible when you think about it. There's so many people that are doing that online, on apps, and for whatever reason, they've put a halt to this for some of the approvals, and, and we're just going to have to wait and see when it happens. I mean, the stock might turn around, but as of right now, it is definitely not a buy. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's just an incredible level. I think I said it right and incorrectly. You know, 500 billion with a B. I think they were up at 580 billion uh, not too long long ago. But, you know, uh, Tencent is a Chinese company. And, and how is the Chinese government dealing with it? I mean, it's strategically important uh, for the nation, right? Well, well, yeah, I mean, obviously they do a lot of things, but I mean, this gaming is big, as I was saying, because it's huge in China itself. So they've got to adhere to whatever the regulators say. So I'm sure they're trying to work it out. Again, I, they're not really disclosing why they put a halt on this, but that's what the Chinese government has decided, and they do like to control a lot of these things, more so than even the regulators that you see in the U.S., Yep, and, and uh, you know, we talked about uh, tech stocks last time, and I know you're uh, sort of booyah on them, but uh, when you talk tech, techs, you got to talk Facebook, which uh, uh, has had uh, troubles, as we've talked about over the last uh, uh, several months, and at really some slumpy trading sessions this week. It hasn't been a, a good few months in general for, 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 in the media at least, for Facebook. Uh, how are they doing overall, Melissa? Facebook, if you look at the bucket of tech stocks right now, Facebook, I would say, is at the bottom, and, I, and that wasn't the case before. They had just recently made brand new all-time highs, but now the stock isn't looking that great. It's under 200. It's around 177 or something it was trading at this week, and the previous high was 213. But overall, Facebook, I wouldn't go on long here, but it doesn't mean it's disaster for the stock. I would say, though, that it's a wait and see as far as buying back into the stock after the earnings and after after, like you said, all the media problems that they've had this year, I don't think it's over with them about the scrutiny. They're still on board for having to deal with some of these issues that have happened. I don't look at them the same as a company like Amazon or Netflix. Even though these are all tech stocks in the bucket, I would put Facebook at the lower end of the list right now. Very, very interesting. We've only got about uh, 60 seconds, Melissa, but I do want to talk about some other stocks, uh, particularly the retailers. Walmart just uh, reported this week, and boy, that they were doing gangbusters. But there was other uh, stocks out there, too, uh, Target and, and uh, Macy's, et cetera. Uh, what, what's with Walmart, uh, uh, real quickly, and uh, is there any sort of commonality among retails? Well, I will just, let me just quickly address Walmart if we're short for time here. Walmart was the stock of the week. Walmart gapped up huge, huge, gapped up 10 points on the earnings. Walmart, I absolutely love. I will tell you, we've talked about Amazon before. Walmart is going to compete against Amazon. It had the best revenues it's had for 10 years. More than 40% of Americans shop on a weekly basis at Walmart, and that's huge. They're going after it. They're going to try to compete with Amazon. They're the only ones that can. I love that stock right now for a buy. It's really almost at previous highs, which was 110. Expect Walmart to continue. You could buy Walmart stock. I love that stock going into the end of 2018 and 2019. Walmart is doing it, and I tell you, they're the only ones that could compete with Amazon. The always interesting and ever informative Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Swoosh. Thanks for your time, Melissa. Thanks.
And Mexican President-elect Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has said his administration will invest billions of dollars to boost refining capacity in order to curb growing fuel imports. And what about those foreign investment and exploration contracts that have been so controversial in the country? RT correspondent Nicholas O'Donovan gives us the details on the incoming president's proposed energy plans.